Hello everybody, David Hall here. I am going to introduce an app to you called Mic Note, and this will allow you to make recordings and send them to your students, and they would be able to listen to them, and it works through Google Drive. So we first have to get the app, so we go to our apps, and if it's not here, where you click there and it's here, you can just go to the Chrome Web Store, make sure you're signed in up in the top right. And once it's here, we're going to go to our mic note. And this is the one we want. So I'm going to click free and add. And it's going to add it to your apps. Now I have an app chooser down here. You might not have that. So you just go to your apps here and your bookmark bar. And there it is. Now it might ask you to give permissions to Google. I've already had this on my machine, so it's not doing that. However, yours might do that. I'm going to make this simple for those who are going to need this right away. But this here makes a new note. And you can name it. So this is a test mic note. And as you're recording, you can t um, copy and paste and click text in here. Um, I'm not going to do that, um, so I'm just going to make a recording. So then I click record, and right now it is recording. And as I said, you could be writing notes as you speak, uh, copy pasting in there. Um, I'm not sure exactly everything you can do, because I have not played with that part, but pictures and insert a PDF and draw on it and highlight, and you can do all that kind of stuff. So let's say I am reading a story for children, uh, students, and I want them to follow along when it's, you know, they're on their own time. So if they have a free reading time, they can do that. So when I'm all done, I click my button to stop, and that's it. It saves it for me, and that's set. So I go up to my note, and I can import notes, property, import recordings, delete it, export it, and all these things. I can even email it. But to get it in my Google Drive, I am going to click Export, and I am going to go to Google Drive. You can see that you can put it on your desktop. And I do not want this because they're not going to have the program. If they are, you can do much more with it, and you would put it in their own format. But I just want the recording for them as an MP3, which is an audio recording, and I hit Export does not take long. It's done. And I open in Google Drive. Now before I do, make sure you remember what you called it. Because there is a glitch, it seems to be. So I open in Google Drive, and at least mine kind of gets um, gives me a message that there's an error right there. But I'm going to ignore it. And I'm going to type in the name of it and hit enter, do a search. There it is. So then I would just go and share it with the students. I could do it a number of different ways, but the easiest way would just be to put the student's name in here. There we go. And I'm going to give them view rights and send it. Yes, I'm going to send it. And then in a second here, I'm going to show you what it looks like on their end. Okay, so I logged in as the MS student here, and here is their mic note from me. I click on it. It says open. It's going to open in a preview. And I'm just going to go. And right now it is recording. So now and you can hear it play back. You could be writing and that's it. As you so I'm going to pause it. So students could be playing it at different times with headphones. They could be doing it with a couple of students around a Chromebook. Um, there are many features to this. And this would also work with recording something for send home with students or for older students to do as a flipped classroom, getting the out instruction outside of their class. Hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, please contact me.